Hello everyone, my name is Aki Daris, and here I'm going to be reading a visual novel called How to Take Off Your Mask. Now, I don't know too much about it, except for the fact that it's something about cats. Um, it's still fairly new, but uh, let's just get right onto it. So click anywhere on the screen. Eyeball. What? Oh, oh she disappeared. Alright, cool. Let's just leave in the I'm not exactly sure if that was automatic or if I had to click a character. Prologue. Alright, please input your name. I don't even know. Uh, let's just put, um... I don't know wh wh where I'm getting this Baggins. <laughs> I don't know where I'm getting that. Bilbo? I don't know. Prologue. Uh, and fade to black. Alright. Ah, yeah, let's do some awesome voice acting here. Why? How come? Just, why? <laughs> What's wrong, Baggins? It, oh gosh, she says nya. It's gonna be one of those chicks. Great. Calm down. Let's try to remember what happened yesterday. I'm not exactly sure how my voice is here, uh, heard through your guys' ears. Whoa, okay. Gotta turn that down. Alright. Oh, this is a nice little song. So the artwork isn't too bad. Nice. <laughs> so this is about transformations, I'm guessing? Doppelgangers, transformations. Fabulous men, of course. Black fabulous men, of course. And... I'm not even reading the English lyrics now. But yeah, the artwork uh, looks fantastic here, so... Um... Now I'll, I'll just shut up and have you uh, enjoy the song. Ah, oh, that was nice, wasn't it? All right, cool. Let's uh. It all started on an early morning. You know what, um... Oh, what the hell? Uh, shit. What, do I, what did I do now? Ah, uh, let me change this. You moocher! Baggins. A girl shouldn't raise her voice like that. Stop bugging me. The shop's preparations won't ever be done if you keep eating all the freshly ba baked bread. Well, why are you letting him? Kick his ass out. Calm down. Just think of it as a challenge. Annoyed. <laughs> you! Oh, okay, uh, Grandma, um... Okay, uh, old person voice, uh, commencing. You have no- <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> that's, uh, well, that's- <laughs> That's pretty bad. You have no time to be dilly-dallying. Dilly Focus on your work. What the fuck, dude? He's eating our bread. You didn't have to hit me with a newspaper. Would you rather I use something else? Like my foot in your- <laughs> But please, let me continue my work. My name is Baggins. <laughs> I'm a baker who was born and raised in the city Lizera, capital of Irulia. My parents went missing in action a couple of years ago, but I'm not alone thanks to Grandma and my childhood friend Ronan. So I took up a bakery. It's, it's a failing business. Hey, didn't you forget about me? Can you read my mic? What? It's nothing. Hey, I still haven't seen Ronan yet. He doesn't plan on skipping class. Oh, class? <laughs> Sorry, force of habit. <laughs> force of habit in these uh, visual novels and anime. He doesn't plan on skipping, does he? You're skipping. 
scary me, Baggins. Get the hell out of my bakery. Isn't that just you? Um, not sure what gender this is, so I'll just use a, a, a man's voice, I guess. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> totally wrong voice for that kind of face. Gotta change- oh no, I'll keep- I'll keep the voice. You're really late! Did you remember the supplies? No, I've just got a random bag of shit in my hand. <laughs> oh, that's right. My bad. Um, these should be the ingredients you need for today. Right? Put them there. My hands are full right now. <laughs> got it. On the table over there, right? Whoa. I don't even know what's going on. Ah, uh, jeez. <laughs> Baggins is angry. This is a failing business. I've got late employees, some bastard eating my fucking stock, and I have no discipline, and my grandma is against me. Okay, okay, stop crying. Did you get hurt? I'm fine. Sorry, but the bag didn't rip. So, the stuff inside should be okay. Of course. You would have to replace them if it wasn't. Ugh. You're a sh Wait, I don't even know- <laughs> I don't even know what voices are which anymore. Um, let's start over. I, I can't even remember what I did for Julie. You're as strict as always, Baggins. Yes, I am. So, please pay for everything you have eaten up until now. And I said, please. How long has this bastard been doing it for? What are you saying? Don't you think it's inappropriate for a beautiful guy like me to pay for everything? You haven't even paid for anything! Oh, uh, no, wait, no, that's exactly what you were saying. Whatever, just give me your money. Wow, you're both moochers here. <laughs> uh. Enough. Go back to your work. Okay, I'm not liking my grandma. Uh, okay. Also, please check on the cool g on the cool girl. It isn't doing well. I wanted to know what was up with this moocher. He came here every morning, ate breakfast, and then went home without paying a dime. And Grandma, as strict as she was, had never once scolded him. She must have her reasons, but it still bothers me. I took a look at the cool girl on the table. Huh, that is a pretty cool- that's so cute, it's like a- it's like a fifth generation Pokemon. This city's weather could be unpredictable, so we used a tool called a cool girl when it was hot and a heat boy when it was cold. Did I make it too cold? I'd better raise the temperature. Baggins, I've finished clearing out the stock for today. Is that good? You probably haven't done much because the guy's pretty much been ruining our stock. Yes, nicely done. Good boy, good boy. He's my bitch. <laughs> she breezed me. Now rub my belly. Don't let it go to your head. <laughs> what? Well, I was just wondering how long you two will keep acting like that. Ronan is a young man. It's natural for him to have one or two girls he likes. What, the grandma? She's the only girl I've seen. He's not at that stage yet. I'm all he needs for now. Dang. It's too dangerous for him to be hanging out, hanging around suspicious women like yourself, bitch. You're being overprotective. It's not about being over. Baggins, I cut my finger. What the hell? Huh? Wait, why did you touch the knife? I cut my finger by touching a knife. I take it back. Ronan does indeed need you. Stop watching others. You should return to your own work. At least give me time to relax, please. You've eaten our bread, you son of a bitch. You're a hopeless man. What? Oh, no. What? It's already this late? Sorry, but I need to go. Huh? You've been quite busy. 
busy lately. Isn't the stock truck just delivering things? Should I speak with the shop's owner? No, no, don't come. That's what she said. Why? B because... The stock shop, it reeks of sweat. It does? That might affect product quality. Should we change our supplier? No, no. I keep control of the quality, so it's no problem. Just never go there, or you'll never come back alive. Send me a message through my 2CYN if something happens. 2CYN? Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You see, YN, a tool that converts messages we leave at the call center to text and sends them. Totally not breaking fourth wall right now. It's a new invention delivered from the castle, but I'm not familiar with it yet. It would be better to have a portable calling device, but I can't expect too much. Excuse me as well. You know what? I'm gonna change the voice on this because he sounds like Ronin in my in my ears anyway. So I don't know what to really do, but. Be ready, we're opening tomorrow. Oh wait, we're opening now. <laughs> we're opening now. Okay. With half-eaten bread. Welcome, our bread is fresh from the oven. Was there a line waiting outside? Madame A. It always smell- Oh wait, no, Madame A. Okay. It always smells wonderful. Everything looks so scrumptiously unctuous, unctuous. Thank you. I'm so happy when the customers praise me. And my half-eaten bread. By the way, have you heard the recent fuss? Hmm? Fuss? I don't know what that means. Oh, well, it's got serious. You mean, okay, I'm gonna have to, oh, whatever, I, I give up. You mean the exile Lu Lucretia's movement? That's why they keep calling this movement to drive all the cat humans out of the city. Lucretia. White skin, cat ears, and tails. A man's worst nightmare, obviously. No one knew if they were humans with feline features or some creature or some other creature entirely. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward with the first option there. I've never met one, so it sounds unreal to me. Do they really exist? Baggins! Y yes! Advocates of the elm haven't been seen around here, so it might not relate to you, but be careful. I'm not, these, are, these don't even sound like women. <laughs> yes, cute girls like you might catch a bad guy's eye. Uh, what's with the drastic change in topic? I I'll be okay. The only guy who's interested in me is Ronan anyway. <laughs> that's, that's one hell of a way to, like... Lock in a friend zoning relationship. <laughs> it's a relief to have a cute night. Night? Uh, is this bread what you want? Yeah, you want your bread? <laughs> yes, please. Night, huh? He seems more like a helpless puppy to me. Oh my gosh, man. You know, I'm actually like exhaling doing her voice and I'm starting to get a little lightheaded here. here. The elm might be dangerous, but it's not my concern since it has nothing to do with me. The next day, I'm assuming. Thank you very much! It's closing time. Oh, well, close enough. Alright, so that was how to take off your mask part one. Sorry I couldn't get into too much today, but I'm gonna try and get to more of this game uh, when I can. Uh, if I feel like it, actually, because I mean, this game is actually really good. I just don't know if I actually want to continue with the whole story. I only got the demo just to see how this all worked, but let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more of this in my fabulous failed voice acting. <laughs> um, but no, uh, this game's actually pretty okay. Um, but like I said, you know, I might continue with it, I might not, but I appreciate you guys uh, getting through watching my first uh, visual novel. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!